Hello everyone, I am Razor012YT, and today we are going to show you how to find the first Horcrux. So anyways, let's get on with the video. So first off, in order to find the first Horcrux, you must go into this house right over here. From there, go to the second floor of the house. There is this person named April. She will tell you about finding pumpkins for a party or something, but yeah, basically she will tell you to find 14 of the pumpkins. So let me explain what the he where those pumpkins are. The first pumpkin is directly right by April's house. Make sure you click it. However, in front of you, a second pumpkin is also there. Make sure you click that as well. A third pumpkin is directly located where that log is. Yeah. This next pumpkin is right by the other end of the island. Click it. There is another pumpkin nearby, but it's outside of a wall. This next pumpkin is right behind Autumn's house. Click it. Well, because of reasons, yeah. This uh, next pumpkin was uh, here a few scenes ago, but now I'm gonna mention it. This next pumpkin is right nearby the mine and the guards. Click it. This next pumpkin is on top of this house. I suggest you parkour on top of it or use the golden path to collect this one. Right over here by the bottom of the hill is another pumpkin. Yeah, make sure you click it too. On top of the hill, there are three pumpkins. One, one of them is nearby, so I just clicked that one. And then the other two are right by Oak Stew. Make sure you click on those as well. And inside Autumn's house is a pumpkin. Yeah, there, there's one within Autumn's house, which is necessary for Horcrux 2 coming uh, in a later video. And the last one is in Bob's house, aka Balloon Boy's house. Make sure you click that pumpkin as well before returning to April. Okay, may I note, this was the easiest part of this entire Horcrux. So get ready, because things are about to get a little bit harder. Alright, so now we are at part two. The tree! So, anyways, April will tell you to go to the tree in the middle of Bricklandia. Once you're there, enter through that magical hole of the tree and you'll be able to see the inside of the tree. Now, what do you do in there? That's the big old question. Well, I have a really good idea of what to do next, so stay tuned. What you're gonna wanna find next are three cakes. The first cake is in this bedroom. Make sure you click the cake right there so that it counts. There is another cake by the entrance, which I didn't know was clickable, so make sure you click that as well when you enter. The last cake is in the gaming room. It's a little bit hard to find, but once you look around hard enough, it should you shouldn't really miss it, yeah. Now once you have all three cakes, make sure you click the dinner plates within the dining room. That way, you will trigger the text to say, don't forget to take the remote, and all that. The remote is located in this drawer. Be sure to take it, for you're gonna need it for something else. Now here's what you gotta do next. Go into this room within the tree thing, sit down and, and press E, like press E to sit down, to watch TV. Now this TV is very strange. What's strange about it? Well, basically the TV shows a string of colors. Those string of colors lead to a code. Now where is this code used? I'll tell you in a bit, but first I want to mention something. Please make sure you record the colors. Make sure you write them down, record some, record with OBS, record with metal, I don't care. But make sure you, but make sure you record your colors so that you could use it for what's coming next right now. So once you do all that, watch the TV and all, go upstairs to this bedroom. This is where you will do some color code things. Remember the colors from the TV? 
Put them in the order, like click them in the order that the TV presented them. Once you do it in the correct order, it should say success or something. This will also trigger something else as well. But also, I want to mention something. This color code is different for everyone, so yeah, don't use the code from this video, okay? Don't do it. Once you have done the shirt code and all the shirts turn green, head for the library. Well, on this drawer is a key. This key is very, very important because it unlocks something, a note. When you click the note or you open the drawer, it will say a series of colors. These colors, well, they're in a sequence for an obvious reason. ANOTHER CODE! Now, here's one thing that changed. The books from before, well, yeah, the books in the library, they're now clickable. Just make sure you click them in the right order as the note tells you to. For example, if it says New Yeller first, you click New Yeller. But, don't do what I do because well, the code may be different or the same, depending on what is going on. I will let you know if there are any changes in the description or the comments section below. So everyone, once you are done with the book objective and click the books in the right order, the game will tell you to do it again, but use the numbers from the books to unlock the door. AKA, do what the note tells you to again, only this time, read the numbers and put the code in on the basement door. If you put it in correctly, it should lead you to a boss battle. AKA, the Minecraft Spider Queen. Okay, this is the part where you have to defeat the spider. If you aren't as experienced as I am, it is recommended you bring healing potions and buffy potions with you so you can sustain more damage and try to defeat the boss for as long as you can. The spider will and can drop webs that try to pursue you, drop webs scattering around the map, or make a big giant freaking web to try to slow you down to stop you from actually killing the spider queen. Upon defeating the spider, you will get the first horcrux. Be sure to destroy the Horcrux at a nearby Horcrux Destroyer. Yeah. Anyways, folks, uh, this ends the first Horcrux guide. The second and third Horcrux guides are within, are along with this guide. So, yeah. Anyways, if you have liked this video, please comment, like, and subscribe, and join my socials down below. Anyways, folks, good day, good night, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.